So let's look at this uh, money class, which is a US money object with dollar and cents, and a constructor that builds the money, and an, an object with, with, that we had, which will take a money object and then create a new money from this and the other, okay? That will return new money. So, and we also have two objects, M1 and M2. So what we want to do is we want to um, create another method which will transfer money from one account to another. So for this, before we start, I'm gonna create another method which will be a void method called make money. So what this function will do, will actually do what our constructor used to do. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this from the constructor and I'm gonna put them in here. The reason why is I want, if I, want, if I ever wanna change the dollars and cents, I wanna change it from one location. So which means that my constructor will call this with dollars and cents, which, which will come from here, okay? The reason why I want this, if anytime I wanna make changes to dollar and cent, we still wanna make sure the same rules apply where if the cent accesses the, uh, this should be cent, okay? If the cent accesses the uh, 99, we want it to roll over to the dollar, okay? So now let's build our transfer. So I'm going to say a void transfer. Let's make a transfer two, which will take um, a money object called other. We can call it two as well. I'm just making other as a unified variable name. So what we want to do is first, uh, we can also do the, <coughs> also have an uh, amount, which could be integer D for dollar and integer C for cent. So not only that we're going to transfer money from one account to another, or one money to another, we'll also uh, be able to, to define the amount. So what should we do? First, we should subtract D and C from this. So I'm going to say this dot dollar should be minus equal to D and this dot cent should again be minus equal to C. We'll ignore the case where we, we have insufficient dollar in a month. We can address it maybe some other time. So for today, we're just gonna uh, assume that we, we have enough, enough money to transfer. Okay, so then what I want to do is I want to uh, add this two to my other, but the way I want to do it, I want to call other that make money with new values. Okay, my new values are other that dollar plus D and other that cent plus C. Okay, so if that works, my other which will have D and C added, but we'll also make sure that if the, the the amount of cent excesses 100, it will roll it roll it to the dollar. Okay, so let's try to see what would this do. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna transfer some M2 is more money. I'm gonna transfer some amount from here to to M1. So I'm gonna say M2 dot transfer to M1 and also the amount. I can say okay. Uh, pass one dollar and fifty cents. So with this, let's see. Uh, let's see if the changes will apply. So I'm going to print. I'm going to say, um, let's print M1 first. M1 dot dollar plus M1 dot cent. Okay. So same thing for M2 as well. Okay, 
So we should be good. And uh, let's try this. Java money. Okay, we have an error. That seems to be a leftover error from the old code. So this should be new money. Try again. Looks good. Here you go. So my M1 used to be two dollars and ninety cents, but I transfer one dollar and fifty cent. My new value should be. Uh, let's see. We're adding to M1. So M1 was two dollars and ninety cent. It should be plus one dollar fifty cent. Looks like okay. And my M2 was five dollars and eighty cents. So take one dollar from here. Take 80 cents from here, we should be left with four dollars and 30 cents. So it looks like it's it's working, but the bug what we want to show here is that changing making changes to other will actually make changes to M1 as well because M1, which is passing, and other are actually the same objects. So this is how passing pass by val pass by uh, reference works.